Ni hao. Welcome to Ask Candy. In this video, our topic is Chinese pronunciation 07. I'm going to answer three questions. Question number one. Any tricks to learn O, O, U, U, O, E, R, and R? So I'm going to share with you my tricks to learn them. Question number two. On which vowel shall we mark the tone? So for a syllable with a compound final, we are going to have more than one vowel. On which vowel shall we mark the tone? I'm going to let you know the rule for that. Question number three. Why do we have the tone change rules and how to remember them? So I'm going to let you know not only about what, but also about why and how in Chinese learning. Got a question in your Chinese learning? Ask Andy. Let's get started. So for question one, any tricks to learn O, O, U, U, O, E, R, N, R. So I categorize them into three groups. So for group one is letter O. So the trick is make an extra W there, make it into W. So let's see. So when O goes, B goes after B, P, M, and F, we make an extra W there. So it becomes B, P, M, F. So let's see some examples. So for here, first one. So spinach, we have B, Cai. But when you see B, O, First impression in your mind may be bo, but that's not wrong, but that's not correct. It's wrong. So what can we do? Make an extra W here. So it becomes bo cai. Bo cai. That's the correct one. So first on bo cai. Bo cai. See? That's the correct one. And the same trick. So PO, we make P an extra W here. It becomes PWO. So that will be lao po. Lao po. So that's colloquial and informal wife. And then this one same, make a W here. That becomes more, more. So the more is touch to touch. And this one, make an extra W here. So it becomes for, for. So for is Buddha. Next one. So for OU and UO, I made them in one, in one group. Actually, it's a pair. So for, for this pair, lots of students, lots of learners find them tricky. It's a bit confusing. So what can we do? So my trick is make OU into OE. Make UO into WO. Let's see if it works. So for this one, DOU. Make it into D, make the U into E. Rewrite the U into W. Right now it's easy, see? So the first one is DO. Do. So do is all. Second one is duo. Duo. Duo is many or much, right? It's easy now. And then this one the same. So rewrite the U into E. Rewrite the U into W. And it becomes third stop. So that will be well, so right? So this one is so. So. So so is to walk. And here is Fourth tone that will be hey. So that's zuo. Zuo. So zuo is to do or to make. Right now it's much easier, right? Let's move on. So for this one, E R and R. So my trick is bird. So this one, I R. Remember, this is American English. So you need to roll your tongue like a bird. Bird. So the first one will be second tone. So that will be okay. So this is R. Ars. Ars is son. And this one is Nu R. Nu R. Nu R is daughter. And then this one, R in the end. <laughs> Actually, it's optional. In the southern part of China, you may not hear it, but in the northern part of China, especially in Beijing, you're going to hear the R. Roll your tongue. That will be Idiar. Idiar. But in the southern part of China, you can speak without, uh, without the R. Just idian, idian. It doesn't matter. People could understand you well. So just find the one you prefer. Most learners prefer to go without the R. So that will be idian, idian. Let's move on. Question number two. On which vowel shall we mark the tone? Actually, we have the tone priority order. What is the tone priority order? It's just the basic vowel sequence. 
Do you remember at the very beginning we learned the simple finals, the vowels in Chinese pinyin? That's a, o, e, i, u, u, right? So actually, that is the top priority order. What does that mean? Let's see some examples. So we have how, how. That is a and o. So a goes before o. So we mark the tone on a. This one, do, do. So o and u. So o goes before u. We mark the tone on o. This one is hey, hey. So e and i. E goes before I. We mark we mark it on letter E. By, by the same. A and I. We mark it on A. 略略 So see E and U. So E goes before U. So it goes on top of E. That's it on letter E. So so see that's easy, right? Do we have any exceptions? We have only one exception. The exception is this I U. Why do we have that exception? So I'm not only going to let you know what, but also let you know about why. So the why is, I U is not the full spelling. I U, the full spelling is I O U. So you see I O U. So I O U. O is the one should have the tone, but the O is omitted. What can we do? So we have I and U left, but I for I, we already have a dot on top of it. So we mark the tone on top of u. For example, this one, 酒酒 This is number nine or alcohol. Let's move on for question number three. Why do we have the tone change rules and how to remember them? So to answer that question, we must answer this question first. The question is, how many tone change rules do we have? So the answer is two. Actually. Is four. Why do I say that? Because number one is third tone change rules, but we have two cases. That's two, right? And then number two is e and bu tone change rules. E and bu another two. Add it up, that would be all together like that's four, right? Let's start with the first one. And to answer that, to answer that question, we need to know what. So the what is, what are the tone change rules? So for the first one, third tone changes into semi-third tone when it goes with another syllable. What is that? Let's see an example. So an example is this one. So that will be, so see, third tone. So that will be 可乐，可乐。So what's the problem? This 可乐 So the third tone is the longest tone within the in the four in the four tones, right? So we don't really want to pronounce the full third tone. We are going to pronounce it into、uh, the semi-third tone. What is the semi-third tone? Semi-third tone actually is like this. So that will be 可乐可乐 Why do we do that? We make it shorter, make it easier for us to pronounce. And how do we remember that? Easy. So for third tone, do you remember my trick? So that's well, that's a full third tone. Full third tone is when you are hesitating, like a well, so the、like, k. But here we want to make it into the semi third tone, so that will be a quick. Try it, like well, well. So that will be kala, kala. So we don't pronounce the full third tone; it's the semi third tone. Just a quick well, so that will be kala. It's easy, right? And then this one, number two. Third tone changes into second tone when it goes with another third tone syllable. Let's see. See the example. This one. Everybody is familiar with this one. 你好 But I believe you have never found somebody pronounce it as 你好 Why? It's too long. So we need to shorten it. So how do we shorten it? So we make the first third tone into second tone. So sort of we just. Leave this part off, part out. So let's just omit it. So we just have this one. So that will be 你好你好 How do we do that? Just doing that way. So that will be make into a wave. How to remember? It's a wave. So actually, you don't really need to remember that. You are going to find it's easier for you to pronounce in this way. Next one, number three. 一 and 不 change into second tone when it goes with. And with when it goes with another fourth tone syllable, fourth tone. Why? 
Fourth tone is not easy for you to pronounce. So hey, hey is also called angry tone. So when you have this one, so when you have the fourth tone, we prefer to make it into second tone. Make the first syllable into second tone. So that will be 一个, and then 不要, 不要. So in that case, it's another wave. You're going to find it. It's more relaxing to pronounce in that way. Originally, there will be 一个, and this one, we just make it with the original tone that will be 不要. See? It's not as nice as the one we change it. So try it. So this is wave, right? So we make it into a wave to make it easier for us to pronounce. That's why. And how to do that? Read it into 一个, 一个, and then 不要, 不要. That's it. And then number four. E changes into fourth tone when it goes with non-fourth tone syllable. What is non-fourth tone syllable? Non-fourth tone syllable means first tone, second tone, and third tone syllable. Let's see the example. So the example, the first one is, so this one actually we read it as, so that will be 一杯, this one will be 一瓶, and here is 一种. Why do we do that? You try the original one, you're going to find first tone, first tone, that will be 一杯, first tone, second tone, that will be 一瓶, and then this one will be 一种. You try the one with the fourth tone, you're going to find it easier for you to pronounce, like this one we do with 一杯, and then 一瓶, and then this one 一种. See? Actually, you don't really need to remember them. So how to remember them? You don't really need to remember them. Why? Because you do in that way is much easier. It's going to save your energy for you to, to speak with the tone changed. So you're going to find it, you don't really need to remember them. Actually, for native Chinese, we don't really remember them. We just say them and it makes us more comfortable to talk with the tone changed. So you don't really need to remember. Just do it and you're going to find, um, speak more, and you're going to find it's more natural. It's better for you to talk in that way. So that's all for today. Hope you find my videos useful for you and save your time in your Chinese learning. Thank you for watching. 再见!